Hello there, Anna. Okay, let's go. International tourism is becoming more accessible due to the advances in the means of transportation and many countries are focusing on investing in tourism, tourism as a way to solve various economic issues. Beautiful. They're much is becoming cheaper more countries are obtaining. Okay, excellent. I believe that the positive aspect of this industry, such as job generation and the spread of local culture, outnumber the possible and avoidable drawbacks. Beautiful start. Now, a single grammatical error. It is understandable that the massive budget designated by a number of governments to be spent on attracting foreigners to visit the country is a concern for many. Is that the question? Okay. There are various other ways to wisely invest this money, such as education projects, healthcare facilities, and welfare systems. Okay. Uh, or a welfare system. But I, I would have gone with plural because all the others are plural, and this is what's called parallelism. Another issue related to tourism is the depredation of famous sites and religious places. Fortunately, some locations are suffering depending on the tourists they attract as was the case in a remote village in China, comma. Actually, no, where a sacred location was disrespected and damaged by tourists. However, investments in it to educate visitors can be a solution that might generate more revenue and awareness. Okay, it's a bit unclear how educating the tourists or the visitors might generate more revenue. Obviously, it would definitely generate more awareness. Okay. So personally, okay, this seems a little bit off topic at the beginning, yeah? I would have started with the advantages and following the order of the question, and then I would talk about the disadvantages in the second body paragraph, okay? About tourism being disrespected or local sites being disrespected. Now, the good thing here, Anna, is that these are essay skills we need to work on rather than actual grammar skills. So we're in good stead. It's much easier, quicker, straightforward to improve your essay skills than it is to improve your writing skills. So, yeah, that's what I would have done for body paragraph one. Talked about the advantages of increased tourism, maybe some uh, jobs, cultural awareness, and whatever. Okay. Um, yeah. Anyway, body paragraph two. With the affordable prices to travel abroad, investing in the tourist tourism sector is being is a goal, not being is a goal for many different nations aiming to improve their economic circumstances by boosting job creation, and increasing cultural awareness among foreigners. Extremely long sentence that. Recently, Australia and New Zealand hosted the female football World Cup. While the budget to attract more tourists was massive, we've used massive before, I'm pretty certain. Yes. Okay. Uh, comprehending from local infrastructures to stadium renovations. No. Encompassing. Encompassing local infrastructure improvements to stadium renovations. Predicted return is an, in is an increase of 35% in international tourism. Such investments might generate thousands of permanent new work opportunities for the local community. Fantastic. Love the final sentence. Um, so the biggest problem here I see, Anna, is tax response. Okay. Advantages. We're going to talk about just keeping it simple. Okay. With your language skills, um, it should be relatively straightforward. Okay. We keep it simple. The advantages are increased uh, job security, increased cultural awareness of the country, and what else? Better pre preservation of cultural artifacts, locations, and institutions, whatever. We've got three reasons there. And then we would develop the reasons. And ideally, we would develop them with a hypothetical argument, sort of like, if the, for example, if the Australian government invested in protecting Uluru, um, then the tourist attraction could be expected to be uh, increase the life expectancy of the tourist attraction by up to 30 years. 
and this would. Okay, so we just push the argument into a hypothetical one and we use um, conditional structures then and score more points. But we keep the argument simple. Okay. Um, and then we go back to the question again, just double checking. So the advantages would be better job security, uh, a longer economic benefit and for the country and a better experience. Okay. Okay. And they would be better prepared as well then to receive more tourists and cope with the expected increase. Okay. So we're just going back to the question again. The disadvantages uh, could be that cities turn into circuses, which is what, is what happens to Rome and Barcelona, okay? Um, and then develop that argument and maybe talk about the pollution as well. And then obviously, again, a hypothetical argument if pollution could be contained, X, Y, Z, X, Y, Z, okay? So you just keep the argument a little bit simpler and a little bit more on topic and following the order as well in the question. To conclude, attracting international tourists requires a fair amount of investment. Excellent phrase. However, in my perspective, the advantages are far greater than some possible negative aspects. Fantastic. Governments can develop a strategy to attract international visitors and educate the global community. Beautiful, beautiful start, beautiful finish. We just need to work on task response and paragraph structure. Other than that, Anna, you are doing super. Well done. Let me know as well if you're interested in more essay corrections like this and we can send you a special offer. All the best.